Übrigens ist auch Michael wieder hier, das nur ganz nebenbei, den werde ich gleich noch begrüßen. Aber zuerst äh, kommen wir in den ja. PC-Bereich. Komm in deinen Lieblingsbereich, Carsten. Wir haben heute ein fantastisches Thema. Wir haben einen, einen Gast, der extra für uns heute aus Russland gekommen ist. Ne, ist gelogen, wir haben auch einen Stand hier auf der Messe. Aber kommt trotzdem hier rüber. Der Stand ist, glaube ich, fünf Meter entfernt. Ja. Mit einem neuen Ego-Shooter aus Russland. Und der heißt... Stalker, Oblivion Lost. Und erster Eindruck, Hannes, hast du schon erster was gesehen? Erster Eindruck, äh, eine komplett neue Engine von den Russen und sieht richtig geil aus. Also die haben super realistische Texturen, die waren extra in Tschernobyl. Ja, der hat auch was mitgebracht, gefilmt. ne? Der hat äh, radioaktives Material aus Tschernobyl mitgebracht. Er hat wirklich, nicht wegrennen, nicht wegrennen. Er, er hat ein Stück radioaktives Metall dabei, das werden wir gleich gucken. Er, das war geil, kommt mit so einer kleinen Plastiktüte und hat da drin so ein Stück Metall. Ich so, was ist das? Er meint, so ist radioaktiv. Da, aus dann, Tschernobyl, macht er so. Da, da liegen noch, daneben liegt noch seine Banane und ein Apfel. Ja. Aber der Gast hat nicht irgendwie drei Beine oder drei Nein. Augen oder so. Ich weiß ja, nicht, seine ja, Kinder vielleicht dann, ne? Ja, wer weiß. Also auf jeden Fall bin ich gespannt, ob er die Banane noch isst. <lacht> okay, also das gibt's ja. heute bei euch. Oblivion Lost, fetter Ego-Shooter, also dranbleiben. Freuen wir uns drauf. Nee. Rüber in den Konsolen. Alec Jaworski bei uns bei Giga Games zu Gast. Live von der Games Convention erstmal ein herzliches Willkommen. Alle, die hier um den Stand versammelt sind. Seid ihr gut drauf, Leute? Hi, everybody. Oh. They just said they love you. <lacht> really? Thank you. Ja, ähm, Oleg wird uns heute Oblivion Lost bzw. Stalker zeigen. Das ist der neue Ego-Shooter aus Russland. Der kommt von dem gleichen Publisher, der zum Beispiel auch Venom, äh, Codename Outbreak heißt er eigentlich jetzt, gemacht hat. Und ähm, die Jungs waren in Tschernobyl. Ja, ihr erinnert euch, Atomkraftwerk, äh, Strahlung, radioaktives Material etc. Und da waren die Jungs, um sich zu inspirieren zu lassen. Ja? Also habt ein bisschen Nachsicht, wenn ihr ein bisschen... Ihr wisst schon, ja, also. Und er zeigt uns jetzt erstmal ein paar Fotos. You, have, you, you brought some photos from your uh, ex, yeah, uh, expedition I'll, I'll, to, to uh, Chernobyl with you. Show yeah. us some. I just wanted to show some of the photos and uh, to and say that without, uh, we did some good research before making the game. Uh, Actually, it looks like home. Uh, at my home, I, I mean. <laughs> It's like, like my living I hope, room. I hope it does not. <laughs> Well, you can, the, you can, you can the, ask uh, my mother, it looks absolutely the same in my room. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but for radiation, yeah? Yeah, except we have radiation there, there, unfortunately. Yeah. Is there a forbidden zone or something like that? Yeah, you, you have to have special uniform and uh, after that you are allowed to, but um, yeah, the zone is cordoned off and it, it's not easy oh, to get there. Actually, that so. looks like Simon's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be a kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be a kindergarten? Really, yeah. Nice. You love your kids in Russia, This right? is a cat, catfish, and it, it uh, swims in uh, a reactor. Uh, the, there was a chilling channel close to reactor, and uh, fishes, nobody caught them for 16 years. So this catfish can eat a lot of breath with one gulp. Okay. <laughs> and and so now we are close to the very sarcophagus of Chernobyl. We are 300 meters from it, and the Radioactivity is 700 uh, uh, micro row again. This is a Geiger counter or? This is a Geiger oh. counter. Oh man. <laughs> and here there used to be a forest. It got red straight after the catastrophe. Uh, it, it, it was a pine forest, but it, in one day it was op totally red. So it was chopped and buried under the ground. Who's this? <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> Uh, so you see the radioactivity in some places is very high. We visited the city of Pripyat. It is an empty city and there used to be 50,000 residents. Uh, there's a ho hotel. A hotel? Yeah, and this is... Did you sleep there? <laughs> no, I was not allowed to. <laughs> yeah. But you wanted uh, to. <laughs> no, I wouldn't dare. It was enough to, to spend there half of the day. Hey, you brought us a souvenir from, from uh, Chernobyl. Perhaps oh, yeah. you can show this. Yeah, I'll show it on photo. I, I, I don't dare where to the touch Geiger it, counter near it. But I will. Uh, <laughs> and then, oh, here it is. I, there probably, it is. So probably we can shoot it with a camera now. Yeah, here. Can we show? Radioactive souvenirs. Be careful. Be careful. Das ist echtes radioaktives irgendwas. Wer will mal lutschen? So basic. And so. This is really radioactive and you brought it here with uh, such a bag? I was careless. You, you must be kidding me. Uh, yeah, you should kill me. 
So now, uh, maybe yes. let's see why you were in Chernobyl. Maybe we can load up the game and look at all the, the nice yeah, artwork definitely. I just textures. wanted to say that the atmosphere, what you see in those photos, yeah. we really strive to reproduce the atmosphere in the game. It will be a murky and gloomy game. Uh, you see a, a forest inside a city. It, it's totally unimaginable. Yeah, yeah. An empty city. So, so how many we'll people live there? 50,000, 80,000? Yeah, 50,000. And they all worked at this plant. Now nobody lives there. They were forced to leave or did they leave? Yeah, they were expelled. Okay. They were evacuated. Okay, we'll load the game now. Uh, where was it? Yeah. Ah. No, no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now what are we seeing now? This is a pre-alpha version of uh, Stalker? Yeah, so, co correct. This is pre-alpha version. Uh, we still have one year to work on this game. We plan to release it uh, in autumn next year. So I just brought uh, two levels to show you here. Uh, they just give an idea of how the surroundings will look like. Yeah. Uh, no, no real gameplay here so far. Just, <laughs> just one monster. Uh, so you'll start the game like this, with a pistol. And uh, this, uh, these gates mark the crossing between the levels. You will be able to freely explore the zone explore the territory. Uh, there's lots of wildlife, lots of greenery yeah. and grass. Uh, and you will have a small sound detector, the simplest one. The zone is full of anomalies, like uh, patches of radio, radioactive patches and some st really strange zones like gravitational pits and poisonous fogs. And these are deadly zones. Uh, so if you are entrapped in, in uh, one of those, you may die instantly. So you'll obviously need special equipment to uh, be able to cross those zones and not suffer um, yeah. poison, uh, really so, da dangerous. So maybe uh, let's tell the audience, why are you there? I mean, nobody wants to go there. Why, are, why is the character of the game there? Sure, the game is, is set in year 2006 and uh, um, explosion happened 20 years ago. And after this explosion, a certain zone was created. It was really strange. Some strange, anomalous things happened there. And scientists went to explore the territory, but they started disappearing. So uh, the army cordoned off the zone and did not allow anybody to uh, go in there because it was really dangerous and they okay. all were, were afraid. So, uh, but with time, people started going into there because uh, they were interested in what, what was happening there. Some of the amateurs, like you, uh, uh, went into the zone and brought some strange objects with unknown abilities, uh, okay. artifacts. Oleg, yeah? we have to stop right here, but yeah, we will uh, continue you. soon. Yeah, also bleib Good. dran, gleich gibt's noch ein bisschen mehr von Oblivion Lost Stalker. Also, bis gleich. Oleg Jaworski und Stalker Oblivion Lost, jetzt wieder bei uns im PC-Bereich. Uh, is that uh, what the, the package will look like? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also so sieht die Packung dann wahrscheinlich aus, wenn ihr mal irgendwann ein Spiel im Laden seht mit dieser Packung. In einem Jahr. In einem Jahr. <lacht> In einem Jahr. Dann <lacht> kauft es, weil es ist toll und macht euch schön und glücklich. <lacht> und das, radioaktiv. Das ist besser als elektromagnetischer Gesundheitsschmuck. So. Go on, play some more of Oblivion Lost. Oh, yeah, do we okay, have a new so gun? Yeah, uh, I have several of them here. And uh, so I'm a stalker and it's a... Very, um, I'm in a very murky and gloomy zone, but uh, still I could have some entertainment, like <laughs> shooting some birds. Birds. Oh, okay, it, it fell down, <laughs> yeah. I like and, the and, game. Uh, we could defeat it. Okay, so now we go deeper into this zone, we explore it, we look around, and there will be anomalies, and uh, you will have a detector to avoid those zones. Where's the detector? Uh, it's not yet implemented, unfortunately. Ah, okay. Alpha version. So how far is the version uh, of being completed? Is it? We are a, we are a year from completion now. Uh, so it's a pre-alpha. 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 Okay. Yeah. L lots of things to be implemented. A powerful physics base, like uh, destructible objects, interactive objects. Uh, glass will be destructible, and lamps will be destructible. Now I'll go inside some buildings and show some uh, so inner parts. So, you know, ego shooters are uh, the most popular genre on, on, on PC. So, well, yeah. uh, what are your favorite uh, ego shooters or were there any ego shooters that influenced you by creating Oblivion Lost? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Half-Life, Counter-Strike, of course, and Deus Ex, uh, games like this, yeah, they were of, influ of some influence. We also were influenced by uh, Stalker movie. It was shot by Russian director Tarkovsky. It was the first 
and maybe the best uh, Soviet horror film. Uh, cool. Uh, don't, don't yeah, but it was. Uh oh. Do you know? If it's I, I, I thought all DVD? Russian movies are horror. <laughs> <laughs> Can Not you get them? Can you get them on kidding. DVD or is, uh, it, is it just? Yeah, when I'm back to Kiev, I'll, I'll arrange it. Oh, for you especially, maybe. <laughs> then we show some excerpts on our show, so maybe. <laughs> Yeah, okay, uh, because uh, the atmosphere of the game uh, will be much similar to that movie. It was really gloomy and atmospheric, kind of. But it's not the official game uh, to the movie, it's just inspired by it. It's it just okay. inspired by it. And the movie it, took place in, uh, in Chernobyl as well, or? No, it, it was a different zone, it was uh, science fiction based a bit. But ah, we, okay. we'd like to stick with realism, that's the difference. But the zone w was also full of anomalies, full of strange things, you know. Uh, so. This, this is the similarity, maybe. With, and uh, with the all the textures we are seeing now on the walls. They are photorealistic. They really... Basically, we will uh, implement 60% of the architecture in the game will be from real Chernobyl. Like, we'll uh, reproduce the, the Chernobyl plant. And the sceneries, the villages around. Those guys look uh, like Halo guys. <laughs> is that some kind of message you want to deliver? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> These I are see. soldiers, uh, army yeah, soldiers. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the game is set in year 2006, so ah, okay. they have some futuristic stuff on them, okay. you know. And what about other elements? Are there any role-playing elements in it or elements from other genres? Yeah, this is a great part of, of the game. We, uh, we want to employ like RPG elements and uh, you will be able to trade artifacts you find. You, you can exchange them and uh, you, you can sell them and get money reward for them. Uh, and uh, with this money you can purchase different weapons and different equipment. And, uh, so you can uh, the equipment will tune allow the to weapons. And uh, yeah, also modifiable weapons. So there will be 30 weapon types. Uh, they, these are going to be fo uh, realistic, but a bit futuristic like this one. This, uh, this weapon is called FN2000. Uh, it's currently in development, for example. This one has a zoom? Yeah. It, it has a zoom, Pretty yeah. Nice. yeah. There will be some others. There will be NPCs or NPC. so some traders and what else? Yeah. Uh, you can sell uh, those artifacts to traders and to different corporations who are interested in them. Yeah. Uh, because uh, and with these artifacts, they can produce uh, some weapons for you oh. with special abilities like gravitation. Like you can uh, pick up objects at a distance and throw them into your yeah. enemies. Yeah. Uh, so there will be some special weapons too. Some some special knives and some special. Can you can you use uh, vehicles like cars or something like that? Yeah, if you have enough money, you can purchase everything up to cars, oh, and cool. you'll be able to go in car in, in a car into this zone. But uh, to go deeper, you need we will need some special equipment, some more sophisticated stuff, because okay. uh, the dangers are all around. There will be uh, anomalies, anomalies like poisonous frogs and uh, some, for instance. Burning fluff, when it touches you, it leaves heavy burns on your, on your arms. So the, the game is not just about shooting up uh, at the enemy, it's about exploring the, the whole world that much, you have created. Much of lots of adventures, lots of exploration elements, yeah. yeah. Will there be multiplayer also? Capability for multiplayer? Yeah, we plan all the popular multiplayer modes today, like deathmatch and cooperative as well, yeah, yeah. and capture the flag and uh, some of the team. Sure. Yeah, th oh, this cool. is from City of Pripyat. Uh, I don't remember if I showed you the photo with this, but this is a photorealistic. There is this pa panel. Some this. propaganda <laughs> painting <laughs> or <laughs> Pripyat propaganda. <laughs> I'm shooting with Makarov gun now. Oh, la, 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 la. We use motion capture animation for characters and for soldiers. Oh, what's this standing there? Is oh, it? this oh. Ar armed, armed personnel, personnel carrier. Yeah. You cannot drive it yet. Uh, not yet. But, uh, yeah, the, but the it final will version be in the will, final version will be. Yeah. Uh, still many things to be done. This is just to show you how the graphics will look like, what the atmosphere yeah. will be. So the, the, the maps are very huge, they're very great. So uh, yeah. do they connect? To each other, or, or will it be uh, um, like in, in Counter Strike with short re reloads? Or yeah, we, we plan 15 that? levels in total, and there will be 20 square kilometers of the of the zone, and you can. And this is explore. one. This is um, yeah. This is one level, and it is one per two kilometers in size. The averagely will be sized one one kilometer, one square kilometer. Okay. And uh, 
you can go and explore the territory freely in whichever direction you want, but uh, um, to pass further, you will need some adequate yeah, okay. equipment. So, Oleg, like, so, uh, you, you brought another level with us that you can show us. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, we have to take a break here. We sind gleich wieder zurück und dann sehen wir mehr von Stalker, Oblivion Lost. Bis gleich. Willkommen zurück im radioaktiv verseuchten PC-Bereich. Thank you, Oleg, for uh, contaminating... Uh, yeah. Bringing radioactive bullshit with you. <laughs> so, wir haben einen, einen weiteren Level geladen, der ist noch größer, noch kaputter, noch ruinierter als der erste und den schauen wir uns jetzt mal an. So, Oleg, where are we now? We are on another level. Um, we are at the level start and we are under the bridge and I'll try to climb up there to show some of the sceneries around. So, the zone, basically, we are uh, going in now will be uh, made of woods and marshes and uh, derelict places, villages and uh, some cities, derelict cities, neglected areas. So it, it will be full of gloomy and uh, murky, murky scenery. Was this our locomotive? This was a locomotive, yeah. An accident. Oh. Now we are up there and so far, it's photorealistic, uh, fo fo photo texture, yeah, uh, but uh, there will be a city and it will be reconstructed. This is a city of Really? Bridget. In 3D? It will be, yeah, oh. it will so be you can a really separate level. enter the city then? You can enter the city and uh, the final level will be in Chernobyl plant, in Chernobyl station. You, uh, your uh, main objective will be to uncover the mystery of this zone, uncover the, oh, okay. the secret. Why it why it happens? So what causes those anomalies? What, uh, what, what is the origin? What about the uh, the stalker aspect? You are a stalker yourself, but there are other stalkers roaming around in the zone. And yeah, there will be uh, up to 100 uh, NPC stalkers going into this zone, and they will perform similar tasks as you do. Like uh, they seek artifacts, and sometimes uh, they will go on the same errands as you do. Uh, and there will be even a special stalker rating. Oh. And, and with traders, in, uh, traders will help you to, with information about stalkers, about the zone, uh, who brought most of the artifacts, and stuff like this. And there will be special attitude towards you uh, as a player of NPCs, like uh, depending on your behavior in this zone, like uh, you keep killing stalkers, for example, oh. uh, they will meet you with hostility, with, they, they will be very hostile towards you. And, uh, Contrary, if you uh, are friendly with them, if you help them in some situation, like uh, yeah. getting them out of some uh, deadly anomal anomalies, they uh, will be friendly towards you and will help you. You can communicate with them. You will have a special set of commands and communicate virtually with uh, every uh, sapient creature in the game. So, that how many people um, are developing Oblivion Lost right now? How many are you? Uh, about 25 guys 25. Are, 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 yeah, that's, are working that's on it now. Not bad. Yeah, yeah sure. Initially, uh, there were less, but now, uh, virtually, we, we make the game from A to Z. Like, uh, yeah. we did our own engine and... Uh, and are you guys working graphic. on another title or anything you would like to add now? Uh, at the moment, we are working on five projects. Five? Yeah. Uh, well, six. Uh, and uh, now we do Cossacks add What are these five titles? Okay, so one of them is Cossacks Add-on, another one is Cossacks 2 game, and then it's American Conquest, real-time strategies, all those three. Okay. And uh, we have also a first-person shooter, it's called Firestarter. Firestarter, we, are, we, f we have that here on the show in uh, tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, 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 I think so. We'll show Firestarter tomorrow. And uh, we have also a racing game, combat racing game, it's called Hover Race. So okay. these are the projects It's kind of Wipeout style or... Yeah, uh, a mix of Star Wars Racer maybe and Death Drag game where you have yeah. to race and to shoot as well. So uh, back to the game, what about the army? Is the, is the army, the, is this Russian army or is it...? Yeah, it, this is a kind of Ukrainian army, I would okay. say. Uh, because the game is set in 2006, yeah, yeah. so well, we are independent now. And uh, Ukrainian army, yeah. And Ukrainian they are always army. hostile or...? The army is hostile okay, to it. Just like the Marines in Half-Life. Because or? you are illegally in this zone, okay. they, uh, they don't allow anybody to, to go in there. And you will get some quests, depending on where you go, the quests will be generated automatically. Like, oh. uh, um, you will be uh, given a quest to save, to rescue some scientist, for instance, or to rescue some stalker who uh, got stuck in, in a dangerous zone, and things like that. Can you show us the, the character from outside? 
how he looks. Uh, I'll like try to. This is how our character looks like. Oh, pretty sick. It's very dark. I don't know. We use dynamic lighting, so maybe we need to go out in the sun, and it, he will look better there. We wanted to implement some ants in the grass. Really? <laughs> yeah. Probably we will closer to the release. <laughs> what about? Oh, do you have uh, an inventory, or do you need food, yeah, really or? Cool. Yeah, you have an inventory, and uh, you uh, can carry up to 40 kilograms of weight. And this includes weapons and ammunition and oh, yeah. uh, some of the equipment tools. And did you already mention how many different weapon types we have? Yeah, 30 types of weapons and uh, modifiable. Most of them will be modifiable. Like and you can all wear them or is there a, a limit of weapons you can... Uh, There's a weight limit of them, but uh, okay. 40 kilograms should be enough to carry a couple of pistols and maybe some rifles. To uh, make but, some damage. But Yeah, but yeah. Uh, it will be realistic, like you cannot carry a whole arsenal of... Of, of guns. Can you go into that house? Yeah. yeah. So Uncle we'll Tom's hütte here, or <laughs> We saw it in reality in, in some of the village close to it Chernobyl. It looks like Maybe Mac it, it McDonald's. Was it <laughs> McDonald's? I don't know. Chernobyl McDonald's. Yeah, Actually, yeah. it looks like McDonald's anywhere. What about the, the dynamic lights? I mean, you know, uh, Doom 3 fans go crazy about all the dynamic shadows, dynamic lights. Do you have? Yeah, we have reali stuff? realistic shadows, dynamic lights, and we will uh, probably implement day and night levels. Like you start the mission on day and you spend the whole day there and then, and then, the, then the night descends. So what, what you said, have you seen the Doom 3 movies from the QuakeCon or the, the E3? Yeah. Do you fear Doom 3? I mean, it comes probably to the same time uh, on the mark like, like Oblivion Lost? Uh, I, I, th I think, uh, yeah, I saw the movie, uh, but uh, I think we are a bit different in genres. They, uh, they have a, a bit of futuristic kind of unrealistic stuff and we want to stick with realism and we want to tell people about Chernobyl about the zone how uh, what, what it looks like now yeah. and uh, what happened there so it will be kind of exploration and uh, you will learn a lot about this zone so uh, okay. this is a bit of a different concept I guess so okay. quite different and, and we have outdoor areas big levels uh, well, in Doom, I think they have mostly uh, indoor. Well, indoor I, I think they announced there will some outdoor areas as well, but I, I'm not quite okay. sure about that. We haven't seen them so far, so. Yeah, I haven't seen them yeah. too. Okay, Oleg, okay. we have to uh, take a break here, another break. Okay. We'll be uh, back soon and mal schauen, was uns da noch zu zeigen hat, der gute Oleg, und dann geht's weiter mit uh, Stalker Oblivion Lost. Zurück im wahrscheinlich mittlerweile verstrahltesten Bereich hier auf der Messe und das, obwohl Microsoft hier einen Stand hat, ja. Also, der Oleg hat nicht nur Oblivion Lost mitgebracht, nein, er war so nett, ja. Er, he was so kind to bring us radioactive material straight from Chernobyl. Das ist wirklich das ist eine feine Sache present. und ich schwöre es euch, in dieser Tüte waren vorhin noch eine Banane und ein Apfel und die sind jetzt nicht mehr da. I just told them nothing important. <laughs> Don't matter. Also, Oleg, so you have a new ego shooter called Oblivion Lost and you brought yeah. radioactive material. How th does that fit together? <laughs> uh, the game is set in Chernobyl and uh, in this radioactive zone. So it perfectly fits together as you go into the zone and start exploring it and you discover lots of strange things, including radioactivity and gravitational uh, pits and of some strange folks and deadly zones. So uh, this all uh, will be featured in this zone. And so uh, will, we, will we see some, uh, in, in the final version of the game, will we see some creatures, I don't know, some, uh, yeah. some radioactive monsters and stuff? But we will because see some we see experimental uh, creatures, like uh, there will be zombies and... Uh, so uh, all the living creatures who stayed there during the explosion. It, Have near you seen this, anything like that in Chernobyl? Where there's something where you? We saw where only wild no animals and a lot of them like and wolves they look and no hogs. They look normal or they had? They look normal, but their meat, their flesh is dirty. It, uh. It's uh, you can't eat it. And they have three tails or something. Uh, <laughs> No, the hogs look no normal. Or three noses. It, it's strange. It's very strange, but the hogs look normal. And uh, for example, Chernobyl is currently is the only place on Earth where wild horses can be found. Really? Yeah. You know so, what? I think that. Do you know Zimon? 
Uh, Simon, no. he, he works there on this table. Oh, okay, yeah. I think he was born in Chernobyl. <laughs> I, 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 I cannot so? prove it, but I have this, you know. <laughs> you have a very good You idea. see, that, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> he always carrying take, artifacts. Take, take a look at him. Do you think he looks like a normal human? No, right? Yeah, I, I think I saw somebody like him. In yeah, the, you in see, the zone. you guys. <laughs> it's, a, it's a haircut, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Show some uh, more of the game. I wanted to show some of the tactics. Like, uh, you will start with a pistol only. Thank you. <laughs> Radioactive bear. And uh, there are some army soldiers waiting for me. And I will have only simplest detector and will learn to survive with, with only a pistol because I can't afford anything more sophisticated at the beginning of the game. So it will be a tough opposition. And uh, soldiers will look like they would, uh, will, would in real life, like... Uh, so there the, is a squad the computer and intelligence is quite high. Yeah, uh, so far it's not, but we are working right now on, on the computer intelligence. And they will communicate via radio with their commanders and will report some uh, shooting in, uh, in the area where I was spotted. And uh, they will surround me and they will uh, go uh, and find some hiding and will shoot will me from there. Will they call for reinforcements or something Yes, like that? yes, yeah, yes, okay. yes. So, and and can you tell us a little bit more about the multiplayer part of Oblivion in us? Will there be one? And uh, how does it look? Can, can you play it, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, in, in co-op? Yeah, th there will be a, a, a possibility to play missions cooperatively, to go through the game cooperatively with your buddies. And I think it will be a, a lot of fun, you know, to play it. There will be deathmatch and uh, there will be capture the flag okay. modes, all the standard stuff. And uh, we plan some team modes, uh, maybe some, somewhat similar like Counter-Strike. So what this scenery we saw in the, in the very zone near near the, near the plant, the Chern Chernobyl villages and stuff. What about, you know, in the, in the beginning of the game you only have the pistol. And what about yeah. if you encounter the first a soldier and you, you, you neutralize him and can you just pick up his weapon or is it forbidden? Yeah, you can pick up the weapon and maybe there will be uh, other stalkers in the game, uh, NPC controlled stalkers, and you can pick up their weaponry and you can pick up their equipment and the artifacts they found. So you, uh, okay. you can kill them and take their so artifacts. So you get, to get a kind money. of reward if you, if, you, if you get them and you Yeah, can... but you uh, make the, uh, the stalkers hostile towards you, can you because can they you... can react to, uh, they have an attitude towards you. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the system requirements? What kind of PC do I have to have the minimal to play the game the minimal sp system requirements will be a, a cpu of 500 um, megahertz comp and uh, geforce 2 mx will be uh, enough to play it and what do you recommend to to play on the, so that you have all the effects and stuff uh, well the, the more the better right? the more powerful the more you the have better, the, okay. yeah sure yeah. Uh, the graphics will be okay on minimal specs too but will some you, of the effects will you bring will out a nice. demo version of the game some, uh, sometime yeah, we uh, we might release one in the first quarter of 2003. So, okay. in but you're not working on it yet. Not working on it yet because a, a demo is virtually made of a ready, virtually ready f game. Yeah. Uh, so far, we have only a pre-alpha version. So, uh, I could also show you some of the uh, vehicles we yeah, will implement. Sure. Course, yeah. Vehicles, um, early physics and uh, vehicle physics. I'll load another level just just okay. a second. Also, er zeigt uns jetzt auch ein paar uh, Fahrzeuge, die es in dem Spiel gibt. Allerdings muss man dazu sagen, die Physik ist noch äh, nicht komplett, weil das Spiel ist halt noch ein Jahr vor Fertigstellung. Also habt ein bisschen Nachsehen. So what kind of vehicles are you showing us now? Uh, this is going to be a Russian Jeep. Um, you have Jeeps in Russia? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah. It's called Neva. You call this a Jeep? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not driving a good car, but my car looks better than this. <laughs> It you, should, can, you can purchase one in the game. Yeah, you, if you have enough money, you can purchase uh, a car like this and <laughs> go in the zone. I think you don't yeah. need so much money to buy a car like this, right? In the zone, you will have. <laughs> okay. You will need. Do you it, plan it, it, on it, including it in multiplayer or maybe some... Yeah, it, it will be fun, I think, to have it in multiplayer too. Why not? Well, it looks on very good. Uh, the, the physics look very, very real. Some of the emblems, like... Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. Oh. Are, there, are there different uh, different perspectives you can switch to? Uh, not yet, or will not there yet, be? Not yet, maybe. Okay. There's no glass, just the front windscreen. And you will be Nothing able to, to get out of the vehicle anytime. Yeah. Uh, you. Not all of the, all of the areas will be uh, 
possible in vehicles. Okay. Like you, you, so what, you can drive some of them, but not all of them. What kinds of vehicle do you have in the game? So you have normal cars, do you have tanks? Uh, we have tanks, but uh, I don't know so far if you can, if you'll be able to control all of the uh, armor personnel carriers and tanks, maybe. But uh, cars, for sure. Okay, so but uh, no, no flying objects like helicopters or stuff like that. Maybe hovercraft at most. Hovercraft. Okay. No, but, yeah, but this is still in progress. Like we are okay. developing the concept. Maybe. Oleg, thanks yeah. for showing us Oblivion Lost. Do you have a you have a booth here on, on the games yeah, convention? Yeah, we where, have. Where is it? It's in Hall Three, and booth is F08. Oh, you're F08. welcome. F08. Also in Halle 3 F08. Wenn ihr das Spiel selber mal sehen wollt, vielleicht könnt ihr es da sogar zocken. Oleg, danke nochmal fürs Kommen. Thanks for being here in the show and uh, presenting us Oblivion. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. In einem Jahr kommt das Spiel raus und wir verabschieden uns jetzt erstmal bis auf Weiteres von euch. Macht's gut.